Chad here with Winning Tennis. Another video for you in 2018. This one's gonna be on the serve. And I'm gonna be teaching you how to serve, not with this, so I'm gonna put this down, but with this. And you're probably saying to yourself, what is this? Well, this is called the Serve Master. It was created by a woman named Lisa Dodson. And what it is, is basically a rubber thing like this. It has a grip for righties and lefties. So if you're right-handed, you could use it. If you're left-handed, you could use it. And she makes there's three different types. You have one with one ball, right, for kids that are maybe six, seven, eight. You have two balls for older kids, and then you have one with three for adults, right? And obviously the more balls, the more heavy they are. And the way, I'm gonna show you the way this thing works. It's very simple. And one of my uh, students, she's nine years old. Her name is Kaden. She's gonna be a great player. Um, I've been working with her for about a year and a half. <clears throat> and um, her father had bought this for her. So I borrowed it. I'm gonna be getting my own, actually. I tried it out, and, you know, before, and um, I wasn't really sold on it, but I used it with a new student that I have, a 10-year-old girl who really doesn't know how to serve, never, really never played tennis. And um, we went through, you know, we went through a lesson with, with this in about, I would say, like 12 to 15 minutes. She had, like, better serving form than many of the guys I see at the club, okay? <laughs> It's amazing how fast this can work. Now, the thing is, I don't have kids of my own and I don't have a kid here to show you to demonstrate it. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to use it or how to teach it in the lesson. Okay, I'm here on the baseline. And the way that I instruct the kids to use this is first, I give it to them and I, I show them the grip. So they get the grip correct. And then I have them just swing it a little bit just to feel the weight. The end of, uh, of the, serve master is where the weight is okay so they just might swing it like this a few times just to get used to the weight all right so once the kid gets used to this or the adult okay the next step would be to have them take it behind the back just like they would on a serve and toss it now you want them to reach up sometimes people are gonna come like over here Right? When you serve, you're not gonna serve, you're not gonna hit the ball here. <clears throat> so make sure that when they come through, they're extending up. Now if the balls hit you in the back or your butt, you're doing it wrong. Okay, so let me go this way and you can see what it looks like. Okay, I'm extending up. You might have seen Serena Williams do something like this with her racket during warm-up. She does it all the time. If I'm going this way, okay, and what this does is it simulates the racket and the racket drop and also helps with pronation. It teaches pronation without you having to actually consciously tell people how to pronate. Now from the back, I use this thing um, to warm up. So this is something you could use to warm up. And again, you wanna extend up, extend up. Okay. <clears throat> so this could also not only be used as a training tool, but you could use this to warm up. Okay, so once you get to that level, you're gonna have them stand on the baseline. The front foot is going to be at a 45 degree angle. The back foot is parallel to the baseline. I like to use a platform stance not a pinpoint because a platform is just easier to use. And what you're gonna have them do is basically stand here and then they're gonna get used to this. You're gonna do this a few times. So I'm not using the tossing arms, so they're set up over here. And once they do that, then you can start incorporating the toss. Okay, so maybe I'll have them just toss like this. Now there's, there's toss with the leg bend and everything. First, just have them raise the arm up, okay? so. Just raise the arm up and then go ahead and swing. Raise the arm up, then go ahead and swing. Now sometimes it's difficult to just go from here and take it back like I'm doing because there's no momentum on it. So you could tell them to bring it, bring it forward first and then bring it back. Okay, so 
they would, what they would do is they would toss, get momentum, and come through. Toss, bring it forward, get momentum, come through. <clears throat> the next step would be both hands on the grip, forward, back, tossing hand up, come through. Again, forward, back, tossing hand up, come through. One more time. Let me go as I'm, I'm going this way. So you can see from the side. Okay. Now typically, I, I just came forward, but they wouldn't even come forward. They would just be stationary here and here. And you could have them bend a little bit as they go once they get familiar with it. Once they get to that stage, then they're up to the last part of it, which is to jump forward onto the left foot. So I'm gonna demonstrate that now. A little bit of bend, okay? And then I have them finish jumping onto that left foot. Okay, when they jump onto the left foot, make sure that that right foot is kicked up in the air. Okay, so from the side, I'm gonna do it from the side here. Okay, we want them to land on the left foot with the right foot up and stay balanced. And make sure they jump over the line, okay? Their foot should be clear across the baseline. So let me do that again. Okay, so my foot was uh, maybe six to eight inches inside the baseline on that one. And that's the whole progression with this thing. So just to go through it one more time real briefly, just have them swing it a little bit to feel the weight. You could have them do this if you want. Then have them swing, come through. You could do alternate sides like this, or you can do one side like this, just like that. And you could feel, they could feel the, what it's like for the balls to just continue going, just like with the racket. And then once you do that, have them maybe practice the tossing motion a few times. Then they could do the toss, and then they could do this. And if that's, that's too advanced for them, if they can't coordinate that, you could always have them toss and then go. Because some kids and some adults are not going to be coordinated enough to toss and do all this quickly. Like that little girl that I teach that's 10, she was able to actually do it and do it really well. Her form was really good. I was so impressed. I actually, she went through the whole progression and I said to her mother who was sitting there, I said, you know, let me give her a ball and see if she could serve it. And I'll give her the racket in her hand. No, but she couldn't because the toss was off, you know. Um, the toss has to be practiced a lot in order for this to work. Like, someone could have good form, and when she did it, she actually had a, uh, a nice racket drop, and she pronated, everything looked great. But if the toss is all over the place, it's never gonna work. So, we're practicing her toss. So again, if somebody's not coordinated enough, you can have them toss, keep this hand up. Okay, watch. Keep this hand up, create a little momentum, and go. Okay, so this is a great tool because there are a lot of adults out there, you know, even adults don't have good pronation, good racket drops. So I really encourage you to go out and get this tool. Um, it's not the cheapest tool, but it's not the most expensive. I think they sell for around 40 to $60, something like that. I'll put the price in the, in the, uh, the video. But uh, yeah, you can get it. You can get it from her website. I think even on Amazon they might sell it. Don't quote me on that. So once we're all done with that, and we go through that progression, you're gonna put the racket into the student's hand. And we can go through the same progression and just bring the racket through. Okay, this is a good drill for warm up. You can see how there's a racket drop here. Pronation. Okay. So it's just like I'm swinging it. And then you can have them do the same thing with the racket. Now, typically when they get to the point when they do the whole progression, they might feel comfortable enough to actually just toss the ball and do this motion. But just be aware that their toss might be all over the place if they haven't been practicing their toss. One toss that I like to do, I don't have a ball on me right now, but I've done it in other videos, is just toss the ball and catch it right here. Toss the ball, catch it right here. All right, so we'd have the racket in our hand and it would have the same 
grip as the serve master, right? So we're comfortable with that. We're setting up the same way. We're doing everything the same way that we did with the serve master. We're just doing it with the racket. Okay, set up, toss, okay, and that's it. That's all it takes to teach someone to serve. God, this sun has been in my eyes all day. All right, guys, I had to move the camera because the, the, the sun is just like killing me over here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go out there and get yourself one of these serve masters. They're really cool. They're great for warming up. They're great for just loosening up and keeping you fluid with your serve motion. You're really gonna like this, okay? And it's great if you have a friend or family member or a kid that wants to learn tennis. You just take this out, you go through the video I showed you and you can go through that progression and teach someone to serve in 15 minutes. It's so much easier than having to tell someone, do this, take the racket here, come here and do this, you know? This is just a natural thing and Lisa Dodson you know, created a great thing with the serve master. So give me a like on the video if you thought this was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and I've got a lot more videos coming out in 2018. So stay tuned, see you in the next one.